Hey, hey, nerds. Adam here to share some important information and announce some changes to the channel going forward in 2020. It shouldn't take too long to go through what I want to go through, which is the 2019 channel review, the name change, future plans with the channel, Discord, and I'll finish the video with a funny story. Without further ado, let's shallow dive right into it. Views and subs more than triple in 2019. We started 2019 at 600,000 views and 5,900 subs, and we ended at nearly 3 million views and 18,700 subs. Pretty good. If subs continue to triple every year, we'll be at 1 million subs in 4 years. 2019 income is 1,880 US dollars. To find my hourly income, I'll divide my total income by the number of hours of editing and testing I did. I make weekly videos which take around 2 hours to edit and there are 52 weeks in a year, so that gives 104 hours. I also made around 10 voiced videos which take around 15 hours in testing and editing each, which gives 150 hours. The total number of hours is 104 plus 150 which is 254 hours. Dividing 1880 US dollars by 254 hours gives an hourly wage of 7.40 US dollars per hour, which is comparable to the minimum wage in the US. Not bad. Next up, name change and future plans. A few weeks ago, on December the 18th, I completed my last exam for my Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering. I can make an entire video about my experience at university, but for now I'll say it was a good fit for me. I have no regrets. I see engineering as the pursuit of efficiency and usefulness, which is what I strive for in my personal life as well. The ring you see on my right little finger is the engineer ring which represents my commitment to uphold the values of engineers and exercise my profession in an honest manner. It's worn on the working hand as a constant reminder of your commitment as it scrapes on whatever you're working on. It's a Canadian thing. As you may have noticed, my channel is now called Adam the Engineered as I changed the focus of my channel. The AE on my logo is for Adam and Engineered, but can also be used for aerospace engineering. For the past two years, I've uploaded weekly War Thunder videos with the occasional educational video mixed in. It was fun, but I'm looking to change things up a bit. I'll upload a 50-50 mix of War Thunder and educational videos, and I'll upload once every two weeks instead of once a week to give me more time to work on my educational videos. I also created a second channel which will only feature my educational videos. Be sure to subscribe to that channel, the link is in the pinned comment. Let's see what I can do with the gaming educational content combo. It doesn't look like a successful combo on YouTube, but I'm always looking for a challenge. I have another thing planned for the future. It's an audacious interactive project which I think is fascinating. If you're interested in aviation and engineering, be sure to join my Discord server, the link is in the pinned comment. Speaking of Discord, I finally have my own Discord server. There's one main rule, which is also a life lesson. Don't be rude. I understand that it's the internet and you need to get your point across in a limited number of words, but being rude achieves nothing and is counterproductive, especially if you're trying to convince someone of something. Remember the times someone changed your mind about something. Was that someone rude or not? Assume that the person you're talking to knows something you don't, at least until proven otherwise. That'll lead to much more fulfilling discussions and debates for everyone involved. To finish off this video, I'll share with you a funny story that happened during a class in university. The class in question was a third-year class called Resistance of Aeronautical Structures, so it dealt with aerodynamic and pressure loads on the wings and fuselage. Sounds interesting, but the class was horribly built and organized, to the point where it would be a challenge to make the class worse than it was while respecting the university rules. Imagine the worst class you've ever had and multiplied by cancer. Anyway, back to the story, since it's an aerospace-only class, everyone is at least a good student since you need to be a good student to get into the aerospace program. So, it was the third week of the semester, and we went for our first computer lab, which we had to prepare following confused guidelines and material. In the computer lab, we are given additional work, which is again confused, quite long and complicated, and we need to submit it in less than two hours. A frenzy ensues, and amidst the chaos, a student says loudly and in desperation, Je suis plus capable which translates to, I can't do this anymore. Which makes me chuckle since I know perfectly well what he's going through and the fact that this was said by someone who already completed half their degree. 
That phrase became my go-to phrase for the remainder of my degree for when I had to do something unpleasant and useless. That concludes my story and the video. Thanks for watching and for your continued support, and let's grow together in 2020. Stay useful. I have a nice formation flying, which leads to formation dying.